Welcome to the show Inner Beauty with Petya. I'm your host, Petya Kolibová. And on this show, we are helping you with the strategies how to create a beautiful life that feels amazing on the inside, not just looks good on the outside. We are sharing a strategies and impactful tips about well-being, mindfulness, and healthy lifestyle. And today, I have a special guest for you that I will be sharing with. His name is Chris Burns, aka Mr. Heart Fire. And he's an amazing and powerful confidence and self-image host. Not just that, but he also is a podcast host who interviewed over 370 guests on his show. So welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you so much, Petia. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. And I'm really excited to have you because I know that you yourself went through some obstacles in your life when you were struggling with your self-image. So can you just share with the audience a little bit about yourself? Sure, absolutely. So like you said, I've interviewed over 370 guests on my weekly 12-hour live stream show called Becoming Your Greatest Possible Self. And we also help entrepreneurs and high, high achievers in life to become successful by dialing in their self-image, by learning to love themselves, by learning how to be confident. But it wasn't always like this for me. I wasn't always speaking on stage stages. I wasn't always confident. In fact, in the beginning, I was really shy and introverted, and I didn't know how to talk to people. I was, I was afraid to talk to people. But really, I found my, my journey out of that. I hit my rock bottom, and I made a decision that I would never wind up like that again. I would never be stuck again. I would never be powerless again. I think a lot of people out there are powerless and I want to help them become their greatest possible selves so that they can be powerful and achieve their dreams and goals in life. That's so incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that because I think it's the obstacles in life that really create the biggest opportunity. So I know that now you are helping others mm -hmm. and your clients are hiring you to create a life that truly they are excited to wake up to and they're feeling empowered. Mm. So let me ask you, what was the first step for you? Where did you start at like, to create this power within you when you stopped relying on the external? Mm. Yeah, so all my life, like you said, I was relying on the external. I was looking for validation from people around me. I, I didn't feel like I was enough. I was stressed out. I didn't feel like I belonged. I felt like nobody understood me. So what did I have to do? I had to start focusing on myself and transforming my self-image. And so that happened through a lot of journaling, through a lot of the techniques that I'm gonna be sharing about today, really the, the different tips and, and processes that I went, to, went through to design a new self-image. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that if people aren't getting the results that they want in life, they're either not clear on what they want, what they want to achieve, how they want to feel, who they want to be, or they're coming up against blocks and mm -hmm. self-sabotage or things that, that really stops them from being great and bring, being happy and being fulfilled. Yeah, that's, that's really inspiring because like you said, I love that you had a techniques and tips. You know, sometimes when you look at the people, um, you see, you hear their story, they started, they were mm -hmm. on the rock bottom and then you see them shining and you're like, what is the gap? Like, how did mm -hmm. you get there? Good for you. And mm -hmm. what do I do? So, can we start sharing some of the tips? Sure. You mentioned journaling, so yeah. can we share some strategies with the audience? Absolutely, so the very first tip is to surround yourself with people who you want to be like. Mm. That's number one, and whether it's through books, whether it's through audios, whether it's through podcasts, YouTube videos, going to live events, whatever that might be, I believe I've gotten to where I am in life because of the amazing people that I'm around and who I'm committed to surrounding myself with every day. Mm -hmm. I study inspirational people, I study leaders, I study people who are achieving their dreams so that 
I can be more like them. So one of the things that I wanted to do first off was say, who do I want to be like? Mm. I journaled about the person of, that I want to be in the future, the dream version of myself, the best version, the greatest possible self version of myself. So I recommend for anyone who's listening or watching right now to write down who they want to be in five years. Mm. Now there's lots of different things that they can focus on in five years. Some of the things that I focus on are who are you around? What are the types of people that you're around? What's the type of impact that you're having on their life? How are you helping them? How are you serving the world? How are you showing up to, to deliver your gifts, to, to really, you know, what are you good at? What are you passionate mm. about? And what does life look like when you're actually in alignment with that, when you're living that, when you're showing up in your gifts, in your purpose? So I think it started off with this process of journaling mm -hmm. because I, I wasn't clear on what I wanted. I was, I was like a, a boat that was adrift at sea, right? And one of our clients, we helped her. She went from focusing on social media marketing and she wasn't happy, she wasn't fulfilled, and we coached her into finding out what is her purpose, what's she really here for. She figured out her ideal client, the perfect client for her, and then she started attracting these people into her life so she could create her dream life. So really it starts with getting clear on who you want to be. That's amazing. So you would say the first step, it's really getting clarity where you want to be. Yeah. Because many people, they feel that there is something better in life, and they don't know that they have the power to mm. choose. And I really love that you mentioned surround yourself with people you want to be like. Yeah. And you said books, yeah. you said podcast, because what first came on my mind a few years ago when I felt stuck in life, I felt like I have no other way than being in the office and being with people mm. who didn't want you to win in life. So in that moment, that's what I did. I started to listen to the podcast. I started to read more books. So was there any book that truly changed your life? Yeah, the very first book that I read that changed everything for me was called The Compound Effect. Oh. The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy because I grew up in this world of playing lots of video games and I wanted everything quick and instant. I wanted the magic bullet. I want, how do I get there instantly? You know, what's the shortcut? And so this book, The Compound Effect, taught me that it's long-term uh, decisions and actions over time, the long-term, that lead to the results. So I believe it's much, much like planting the seeds in a field you know it's a really really great kind of bible verse or whatever we want to look at a, a great philosophy is to look at nature if you ever want to mm. be successful in life be fulfilled at life study nature it has so many answers you know thousands and thousands of years people have been studying nature and sharing about that and i think that's a great place to look so i looked at planting seeds and i figure as long as i keep planting seeds keep watering the seeds, keep up the habits and the disciplines, then eventually I'll get to where I want to go. I will one day wake up and say, oh my gosh, look at who I've become mm. because I had the discipline, because I had the consistency. And those aren't very glamorous. It's not very fun along yeah. the way when you're doing it. And once you look back after a year or three years or five years of doing these types of yeah. processes, you're like, oh my gosh, I created this. That's beautiful. I love that. So first, it's really getting clear who do you want to become and make sure that you are surrounded with people and tools that will get you there. Yes. Let me really quick as also ask you, imagine that our viewers now get all excited, they grab their journal, mm -hmm. and now they are facing that blank page. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I don't know. Like, I know this, what I have, it's not it, mm -hmm. but I don't know who I really want to be. Do you have any tips or steps just how to get started before we move to the next strategy? Absolutely, so the framework that I use is it's now blank, and I am blank, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's now, let's say five years from now. Today is the second, I believe, October 2nd. So it's now five years from now, which would be 2023. It's now October 2nd, 2023, and I am now blank. So it's writing it as if now. You put yourself mm -hmm. in the shoes of your version of yourself in five years, and you're able to write from that point. Now, if you're writing and you feel that you're, you're not getting anywhere, you're not, you're not clear, then it's important to just write down how you feel. Uh, it's five years from now and I'm not really sure how I look, but I want to be inspired. 
Mm. I want to be happy. I want to be passionate. I want to be traveling. I want to be developing a family. I don't know what that looks like, but it's simply the process of writing and getting into that habit that really gives you the power to, to create your reality, to be uh, happy, to be stress-free, to, to really create your self-image of who you want to be. So what I'm really hearing is just start. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to start. Just sit down with the journal. And I really invite you to get the journal and start writing your ideal life. For me, it was powerful and it really changed everything. So what would be the next step, Chris? So after you write down that version of yourself, you want to write down the types of people that you're around. You want to start bringing in more emotions and feelings. Mm. Because when you first start writing, it's a very fuzzy, vague picture. And so you want to get more details on that. You want to get more clarity on that. Mm. So you want to start using things that you taste, things that you smell, things that you touch, and bring in more details. That's really fascinating, and I know that feelings really bring more into our life, so please don't lose your thought. We are going to go on a really quick break, and uh, you have maybe a minute before we come back with this powerful strategy. Hi, my name is Amy Kardashian, not Kardashian. When I came to the United States, I did not speak English at all. I had no education, no skills, barely any money in my hands, and I had 10-year-old daughter to raise. However, giving up was not an option for me. In order to survive and thrive, I had to shift my thoughts and apply all of the insights, wisdom, and the lessons I learned throughout my journey to get and have everything I want. Today, I am an author, TV talk show host, a keynote speaker, a special liaison officer for the Women's Federation for World Peace USA. This is how I am paying it forward today. I have created four online classes where I share steps, techniques, and powerful insights that I have used in my life that will give you clear direction on how to transform your thoughts from wanting to having everything you want. And the first class is my gift to you. There is absolutely no obligation to you. So what are you waiting for? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Start shifting your thoughts today so you can transform your life like I did. I encourage you to take action now. Click on the link and see what's in store for you. Hi, I'm attorney Eric Palacios. If you or a loved one has questions regarding immigration, call my office at 444-7777. It's important to hire the right lawyer to take care of your immigration needs. Call 444-7777. And we are back. We hope that you had a time to think about our first powerful strategy because we are back with Chris with more. So the first really inspiring and impactful strategy that you shared was start journaling and getting more clarity about who you want to be. Yeah. And then the next one, can we go back to that please? Yeah, absolutely. And I want to make sure we dive into the journaling because it's so powerful. Why you want to journal is because when you get clear on that vision, you'll have a end destination. So think about it. If you're trying to hit a target, but you don't know where the target is, what's the likelihood you're going to hit it, right? You're yeah. trying, trying to shoot a bow and arrow and you don't know where the target is, you're not going to hit it. So it's clear. It's important to get clear on that destination. Mm -hmm. So once you're clear on that, then you can start breaking it down into bite-sized steps. So that's the second part of this process in journaling. Once mm -hmm. you get clear on the end destination, it's saying, okay, if I want to achieve this goal in five years, where do I need to be in three years? Where do I need to be in one year? Where do I need to be in six months? 
in three months, in one month. So it's really working your way backwards to know if I want to have the house of my dreams in five years, what do I have to do in three years? Do I have to get a raise at my job? Do I have to move to a new city that will be able to you know, fund it or afford it? Do I have mm. to, what, whatever that yeah. is. In one year, what do you have to do? Maybe you have to get clear on where you want to live. What's the dream city? What's the dream lifestyle? Or maybe in, one, in five years, if you want to be your dream weight, right? You want, to, you want to be the healthiest you've ever been. Where do you have to be in three years? Maybe you have to release a certain amount of weight back to the, to the mm -hmm. universe, so to speak, right? <laughs> maybe you have to be very consistent with your workouts and with your uh, nutrition, right? So it's really being clear on the end destination so you can break it down mm -hmm. into bite-sized steps. And that's one of the things that we love working with our clients on. We do it on our show every week and we help people break that down into bite-sized steps. Every Wednesday, we do it from about 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pacific to help people break that down in a group coaching call. It's free. So really getting clear on those bite-sized steps is important because when you aren't clear on yeah. those, then you just get overwhelmed. A lot of people are overwhelmed and stressed out just because they don't know what to do. Yeah, that's really amazing because even if people would start today and they start journaling mm -hmm. and they will start writing down like, okay, I want to, let's say, I want to live on, in a beach house yeah. in California and I want to live there and have two beautiful kids and having... A profitable online business whatever it is for them mm. they're like okay I wrote it down what do I do now mm. then you break it down to the smaller pieces because how they say how do you eat the elephant one bite at a time exactly <laughs> right. I remember when I hear it for the first time like why would you eat an elephant mm. yeah. <laughs> but I remember and I'm sure you read the book the one thing by Jay Papasan yes. that changed everything for me mm. because that was exactly starting from the end goal you know, so it's really amazing that right where you really want to be in five years and then break it to the smaller pieces because it gets, like you said, it gets so overwhelming. Yeah. Okay, great. I want to have a million dollars on my account or maybe you just want to be the best parent ever. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is for you, sometimes it gets overwhelming. So breaking it into the smaller pieces it's like okay i can do that yes. i can just do one day at a time one week one month at a time so is there any third strategy i'm wondering absolutely absolutely so <laughs> along this process you broke it down into bite-sized steps now if every if that's all it took just getting clear on your goal and then breaking it down into bite-sized steps i think everyone would achieve that the challenge is things come up for us. And that's what I want to talk to you especially about today is that self-image. Mm -hmm. So when people get stuck or stopped or overwhelmed or they have negative thoughts come up, they, they feel overwhelmed, I want them to journal about that. That's a really powerful process as well to say, what are the thoughts that are coming up for me? Mm -hmm. what's, what's really coming up? Do I, I feel stressed out? And I, I want everyone to take you know, a couple minutes just to write this down and, and go into the journal and say, you know, I feel stressed out. I feel overwhelmed, I feel tired, I feel exhausted. And once they get those down on paper, you cross them out and write the alternative opposite belief that you want to feel. So if you say, I feel tired, you cross it out. And on the other side, you say, I feel energized. And so it's simply going through that process over and over again. That's really what changes our mindset. That's really what changes our, our self-image so that we can tap into that inner mm. beauty. I'm wondering, what if you don't believe it? Mm, <laughs> you know, because when you write it down and say like, I am tired, I will cross it out, say I'm energized, I'm still falling asleep over this piece of paper. Yeah. So what if you don't believe it yet? It's a great question. So that's why I mentioned about the compound effect. Because when people are in a certain lifestyle to begin with, they might be around not so great people, people who are negative, people who are gossiping, people who just aren't very empowering or uplifting for them. So it's difficult to reprogram our mind to think different thoughts, to see ourselves different, to shift our self-image when we're constantly in an environment that brings us down. So what I want to say to everyone is have patience. Have patience with that process, and especially if you don't believe it, keep doing it. Take it from me. Take it from Napoleon Hill, who was one of the foremost thinkers. He wrote Think and Grow Rich. Earl Nightingale, who wrote The Strangest Secret. There's so many different resources out there, but these people all had one thing in common. And they said, what you think about, you bring about. What you focus on expands. And so if you want to create a different reality, a different life, then you have to focus on something different. And at first, it feels like weird, it feels fake, it feels inauthentic, it feels like, oh, that's not me. 
Yeah. And with patience and discipline and perseverance, you start saying, oh man, that feels good. It feels good to write out, I am positive, I am energized, mm -hmm. I am abundant. So it just takes time. So really have, have that compassion with, with yourself is what I would re recommend to our audience. I love that. And, and it's a really great reminder, Chris, because I feel that no matter who you are, it doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, if you're mm -hmm. a mom, if you're you know, just a clerk in a bank, whatever. Mm -hmm. We are very hard on ourselves. Mm -hmm. we, we have high expectations. We feel that we can always do more, that we can always bring out more. Mm -hmm. So it's really great that you're giving that compassion and grace. And I think that that's what really creates the inner beauty. Mm -hmm. Because when you create that peace inside and you're like, okay, maybe I'm not feeling my best and I'm just doing my best for today. And sometimes just that reminder that my best every day will change, it's enough mm. just to really cultivate that in yourself. Yeah, it's, it's brick by brick. You know, that's you lay the foundation for a new life. To be able to achieve things like earning a million dollars or having the, the relationship of your dreams doesn't happen by just, just saying, I want it. It takes becoming the person who attracts that into your life. So you have to lay that foundation on a daily basis. How does the person who attracts you know, the dream man or woman, how do they show up? They show up confident. Well, if someone is not confident right now, that's a daily practice of saying, you know what, I may not feel confident, but I'm going to show up confident. I'm mm. going to do my best. I don't, I don't like the phrase, fake it till you make it, just because I don't want people faking anything. I want them to act as if. If I was confident, how would I show up right now? How would I act differently? Ask yourself that question right before you're about to go into a mm -hmm. challenging situation, a boardroom meeting, a, a, a job interview, going on a date. Mm -hmm. If I was the man or woman of this person's dreams, how would I show up right now? Oh, I'd be confident. I'd be like, I know I am the bee's knees. And you and me, we, we, <laughs> we, we're good. We're good. We're going to have a great time. You know? So it's that confidence to step into the shoes mm -hmm. of the person who you want to be like. I love that. So it would be the what if. Yeah. What if I am getting the six-figure job? What if mm. I am today meeting my dream partner? What if I am landing this deal? That's amazing because you really act and look and behave differently mm. when you are thinking in the highest terms, yeah. when you're really positive about the outcome. Mm -hmm. And that's incredible because I remember when I moved here in, in the United States, when I started to go to the college, I saw their kids going in pajamas. <laughs> and I'm like, why they're doing this? My grandma, even when she was going out with the trash, mm. she would like put like her lipstick on, wow. you know? Yeah. Mm. And that's the what if. What if you meet someone who is important in your life? Mm. You know, even when you go to the grocery store, what if you will meet there the next best client? Yeah. Yeah. And so I love that because I used to say in the past, I don't want to live in the world of what ifs, but it was in the wondering state. Or regret. Yeah, or the regret yeah. instead yeah. of, I love this, the, the what if. So do you have any um, other secret sauce? Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> I, I love this one in particular. I got it from Lisa Nichols, who is mm -hmm. a big personal development and motivational speaker. And she says to do the three sevens. Okay, so it's three seven, uh, three activities. You look in the mirror, it's, it's mirror work, right? You look in the mirror, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you say seven things that you're proud about yourself mm -hmm. for. So Chris, I'm proud of you that you showed up today. I'm proud of you that you got up and got out of bed. I'm proud of you that you paid the bills. I'm proud of you that you gave your girlfriend the best evening ever, right? Whatever it might be. So seven things I'm proud of you for. Seven things I forgive you for. Chris, I forgive you for blank. I forgive you for messing up on that test. I forgive you for uh, being not present with your loved ones. I forgive you for not calling that person back. 
Okay, so seven things you forgive yourself for, all while you're looking yourself in the mirror. It might be challenging at first. It could, it could be very challenging <laughs> yeah. for people, and with practice and perseverance, you can do it. So we have seven things that you're proud of yourself for, seven things you forgive yourself for, and seven things you commit to yourself. Mm. So I do this every day, every day in the morning, and I say seven things I'm proud of, seven things I forgive myself, and seven things I commit to. So Chris, today I commit to you, I'm gonna be healthier. Chris, mm -hmm. today I commit to you, I'm going to be friendlier, I'm going to be more kind, I'm going to be more respectful, I'm going to be more diligent, more focused. Mm -hmm. So those three sevens are super powerful and I recommend them to all my clients and, and people are getting huge results from it. That's incredible. I don't think, I mean, I heard it before, but I never realized the power of it up, up until now when you really share it because so would you recommend Chris for people to go to the mirror and look at themselves even if it feels uncomfortable and saying what are they proud of what they are forgiving themselves about and then what they're committing to or would you think that they can write it in the journal too? Would you do both or just one? Which yeah. one do you think will be more powerful? So I believe everyone has their own mm. feeling. Everyone has their own approach that works best for them. There's no one size fits all. Yeah. It's all about what people are comfortable with, what they're ready for, because people are at different levels in life. Right? So it's important to know where people are at in particular. So I believe that it's powerful to do both and do whatever works for you. That's amazing. So thank you so much, Chris. This is really amazing. We will take another uh, break and then we will be back. I promise we have more secrets for you. We'll see you soon. Snap on dentures will change your life. And at Smiles Today Dental, we now offer the lowest price in town. Mini dental implants can stabilize your loose dentures permanently. Call Smiles Today Dental for a free consultation. Thank you for calling Dental Revival. Hate to say goodbye to your favorite jeans? Well, now you don't have to, because Denim Revival is here for you. Mail us your jeans, and our professionals will fix it right up. We offer you all kinds of alteration services, including invisible repairs, let outs, taperings, and original hemming, or even have your own custom made jeans. Quoted the best denim repair shop by GQ, Vogue Magazine, and LA Times. Denim Revival, your search for alteration and repair ends here. It's grand opening weekend at the new Walker Furniture Superstore in Henderson. Shop, celebrate, and save. See our beautiful showroom, plus free food, entertainment, and shopping spree giveaways. Martin Luther King or Sunset and Marks in Henderson. Welcome back everyone. We are so excited about this part because Chris has even more secrets. I truly love the power of the three sevens. Mm. So we were just talking about would you think that it's more powerful to write it or to look into the mirror and you said that you believe that it, it's really personalized, you know, depending on how you feeling about journaling or going to the mirror. So would you just uh, tell people to test it? Yeah, absolutely. So there's so many different habits that we can do to empower ourselves, mm -hmm. to to evolve and grow our self-image, right? So we could meditate, we could journal, we could do mirror work, we can read, we can do all kinds of different things. So I think it's important to find out what feels right for people, to, to give it a shot, to ask for help from a coach. You know, you're a great coach, I'm a great coach. People have opportunities to work with a coach one-on-one -on -one or in a group or just having a communication, start starting a conversation so that they can figure out what's right for them. Because like I said, there's no one size fits all. Mm -hmm. So I say, try different things out. Try one week straight going with just doing the mirror work. Yeah. Try one week straight just doing the journaling, especially for people who are at the beginning of their personal development journey and becoming their best self, their greatest possible self. Have compassion and start with one habit at a time to build the discipline, to build the small wins. Mm -hmm. It's super important. 
Yeah, that's amazing. And I love that you said try it for a week, one and the other. Because if you would try it, let's say, for a day, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't like it. Yeah. Let's do something else. I think that it's really important to tune in and what feels right for you, you know, and, and really tap into that because that will really reveal who you are and what is working for you. And I also wanted to make sure that we check with our viewers if we have any questions because it, um, it's truly amazing that these, um, these, so if anyone has a questions, make sure that you tap it in the comments. We will make sure to check in with Chris. And uh, Alison, she was just asking if this is a simulated background because it's pretty epic and we have absolutely amazing personal here um, a genius who is running all this so he did this for inner beauty and it couldn't be any better mm -hmm. really we are really feeling like we're sitting here on the beach so guys if you have any questions make sure that you dive in and uh, yes so um, we will be tuning in, but please, Chris, um, keep going. Sure, sure. So I did have a, a couple other things about habits that are super important. So when you're working on these habits, like I said, try it for, for a week. Mm -hmm. And whatever you're committed to, once you make that decision, then stick with it until you get it mastered, mm. right? A lot of people want to just do it when it's comfortable, yeah. when it's easy, and habits can take 21 to 45 to 60 yeah. to 100, you know, it, it's a, there's varying numbers on how long it takes to form a habit. Yeah. I think it depends on the, the habit, yeah. the difficulty of it, your environment, all kinds of different stuff. And I think it's super important once people decide on what they're gonna do, stick with it. And I use a habit tracker to track my habits, mm -hmm. you know, our, our community that, that we have with Burn It Up Coaching becoming our greatest possible self, we all use this habit tracker to yeah. be able to know, am I on track or off track? Because if you set a goal and you want to get to a million dollars in five years and your yeah. daily action is to, let's say, call 20 people yeah. to make sales calls, right? Every day, 20 people. If you don't make those calls, then you want to know instantly if you're on track or off track. If you didn't mm. make the calls, then you know something isn't quite right. Yeah. So for people who want to really dial in their self-image and be more confident, be more radiant, yeah. be more beautiful, yeah. feel more love, feel more fulfillment in yeah. life, it, I really believe it's a function of the small things, the little disciplines completed over time. Again, it will go back to the compounding effect, yeah, right? Yeah. It's sometimes, um, you know, I wonder because you said that like being on track or being off track, but sometimes we take so many activities on mm. and we feel frustrated because we want to do it all and we don't know which one it's the right one that will mm. truly take us to where we want to be. Do you have any suggestions about? how to pick the habits that will really help you. Yeah, absolutely. So first off, I recommend getting help, getting support and saying, who can help me to achieve my goal and my dream, whether it's a coach, a mentor, a friend, a professional colleague, accountability partner, whatever that is, get help so that you have the support to achieve whatever it is you set your mind to. Mm -hmm. The second thing is through the process of finding out what habit really fits for you, you're gonna have to be flexible, you're gonna have to adapt, you're gonna have to try different things, different perspectives, different mindsets, so that you're able to see what's really gonna work for you. So through that process, you wanna ask for help, you wanna have time to reflect every week. You look, at, look back at your schedule over the last week, you set out to do, let's say, three different habits that you wanted to take on. Mm -hmm. One was the, the mirror work, another one was journaling, another one was meditation. So when you set out to do those and you look back over the last week, you can see, oh, I hit my journaling seven times. Yeah. That was easy, that was no problem. So oh, that yeah. could be a, a really good habit for you that builds consistency that you can do no matter what mm -hmm. because it's, it's, that's your, your genius zone, that's where you're good, mm -hmm. that's where your, your skills lie, that's where it's an easy, easy and natural. So I'd pay attention to those mm -hmm. to know what do I really wanna keep in my schedule to make sure I succeed. That's amazing. So would you suggest still writing the habits that are easy for you? Because you say it's my zone of genius. Would you still be focusing on that? Or would you just write down the things that you really want to be mastering? Yeah. So
So for people who are at the beginning of their journey, I recommend tracking all their habits that are important to them. Maybe it's drinking a gallon of water a day. Maybe it's getting a certain amount of steps or exercise. So I recommend in the beginning of people's journey to make sure that they track everything that's important to them because most likely their life is really chaotic mm -hmm. and out of control in a lot of ways and they want to bring some control back and direction because mm -hmm. so many people have scattered focus, yeah. scattered attention. Yeah. So when they bring it to one single focus, their habits every single week looking at those, then that's super important and will make the biggest difference. Yeah, and I love that, that you are really looking at your habits weekly mm -hmm. because sometimes you go so far into where you don't want to be and you're like, mm -hmm. hey, I was trying to do really good and this is even worse. How did I get here? So it's it's really great that you're tracking weekly. And I was uh, just checking the, the comments here and uh, Gloria. Mm -hmm. She says she's always learning something new when she's tuned in. And then Paul McFarlane, he was asking, how can we hire both of you? So if people would want to hire you, we will talk about it in the end. So make sure you stay tuned till the end so you can really learn how you can work in the future with us if we are not just live here. However, like I was mentioning, I really love the, the daily practices, mm. the daily habits. So can you please share with the audience what would be some non-negotiable habits that you do daily? Because we are almost wrapping up. So just okay. tell me three habits that you are non-negotiable for you. Yeah, for me, it's journaling gratitude because that's okay. my, I love okay. it. I love it. The second one is going to be the mirror work okay. because I believe it's super important to see myself in my physical body because yeah. a lot of people have shame about their body okay. and think that they're not beautiful or pretty enough. And then the third one is going to be the meditation. Beautiful. It's going to be giving myself space, breathing, getting recentered and focused so I can take on the day. I love that. Thank you so much, Chris, for all of your wisdom and your presence because it truly brings out the beauty. And if people want to stay connected with you or work with you, please share with them where they can find you. Sure. So feel free to contact me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TH3 Burns. That's my personal Facebook. You can send me an email, Chris at beyourgps.com. Again, that's C H R I S at B E Y O U R G P S.com. Feel free to send me an email. Let me know what you got from this. And if you're interested in working together, you can go to our website as well, burnitupcoaching.com, and check out our different programs and what we got going on to help you become your greatest possible self and achieve your goals. Thank you so much for tuning in today and make sure to tune in next time because we'll bring you even more tips and strategies for even more inner beauty.